We're going to do a dish today that's very simple, and you could do it in the fireplace if you'd like, but you could also just do it in your home oven. We're going to do some baked apples. I've cored the apples. I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little touch of, of salt and a little pepper as well. Just not enough that you'd really taste, but just going to kind of open up all your different taste buds. Um, now I'm going to add some liquid to this so they'll kind of braise. So I've got some apple juice, and I would say we're going to put about a cup and a half of apple juice in there. All right, we've got a little bit of maple syrup. This is a little bit. A little bit. This is from Tim Burton's Maple Camp, and uh, you can go listen to some of our old shows on EarthEats.org and find out all about the Maple Camp and their big Maple Festival, which happens every spring around tapping time. Then we're going to add some lemon. Again, kind of just letting this go into the apples a little bit. Okay, now we're going to make this stuff. I think for the holidays it's great to have cranberries. So I'm going to add about a cup of cranberries to my bowl. And about a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to add a little bit of my special sweet season spice blend. What's in this spice blend? Oh, instead of just having the cinnamon and nutmeg, there's also some cardamom and some cloves and mace and a lot of other spices in there. It's really nice. And add a little bit of brown sugar. And again, just enough to, to sweeten it up a little bit. And then finally, we're going to add some walnuts. And I'll just kind of break these up a little bit. To make this better, we're going to add some butter. And then we'll just kind of mix this all together. And this will be our stuffing. Now here's where you could get the kids involved to have them mixed together and get their hands dirty a little bit. Just going to take a handful and fill these up. So just like this? Yeah, and you don't want to really pack it in there. And then what I like to do is just take a knife and go around the apple once, and that's going to help keep it from kind of exploding. This is going to be our dessert, so we're going to eat it last so it can go in the back. And what's going to happen is it's going to boil and steam. These juices are going to reduce down. We can even add a little bit more butter and kind of baste these as they go. And so we'll just kind of squeeze it back here. And it's going to develop a really wonderful flavor with the smokiness and the sweetness. And again, like I said, you could always serve it with a caramel sauce, vanilla ice cream, or whipped cream and be a perfect finish to any holiday meal. Sounds delicious. You can learn more about real food and green living on the Earth Eats website, print off recipes, read the latest in food news, and subscribe to our weekly podcast. It's all available at eartheats.org.